Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Superpowers. I'm Dawn and this is Karen. And we have a great Spiritual Superpowers replay for you today. So enjoy. So in this episode, we talked to Marianne about soul coaching and some of the other courses that Marianne teaches at her school, School of Mediumship Studies. everyone, we're back with Marianne Kennedy for part two. Thanks. That's great. Now you yeah. also, you, you have classes to, um, for psychic investigation, mm -hmm. as well as uh, teaching your students how to manage their own energy and protect themselves. Yep. Um, and you do that at your school, School of Mediumship Studies. Mm -hmm. And Karen and I have taken quite a few of your classes, right. including yeah. psychic investigation yeah. and our energy clearing yeah. and energy protection and our I, I know one of my favorites was soul coaching mm -hmm. and you, you taught you did uh, we, we both did soul coaching with you mm -hmm. at your school yeah. and you mentioned um, that for when when a when someone passes on it's it's their journey it's their soul journey mm -hmm. to continue on mm -hmm. and when we do a releasement that's to help them do that and I know when we did our soul coaching with you I really learned and understood about the soul journey and um, about, uh, for me, I took away being able to see the bigger picture, mm -hmm. understanding that what's happening in this moment in time might lead to something more. Mm -hmm. And um, and what did you find with soul coaching? Well, I just, yeah, yeah, just looking at things from a different perspective, maybe not necessarily a bigger perspective, but definitely from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. sure. And it has helped us in so many ways with mm -hmm. um, understanding that what we're going through um, isn't like it's not the universe working against us That's it's right. not yeah. Yeah. um it, it it will lead to something it really helped me trust yeah that whatever i encounter whatever i'm doing yeah. um you know it, it it will lead to something yeah yeah and i think that you know soul-based coaching is um well one it's not a spirit guided process it's not psychic based it's not intuitive based although intuition is a part of developing consciousness um, but it's important, you know, that because um, I think that there, the, the term soul coaching over the last couple of years has gone in all kinds of directions. And so sometimes it's hard for someone to understand what it really means, at least when they're coming to work with me. And, you know, I've done a, a number of um, interviews and podcasts about um, soul based coaching and what that's really about. But, um, you know, one one thing that it's not is that it's not really it's not a transcendental process. It's not a bypassing process. It's not, okay, um, you know, I'm a physical body having this, but I'm not a physical body, I'm a soul. But really, you're both, right? We're both. We're not just a soul. We're not just a physical body. We're both. And um, it, soul coaching in the, the greatest sense is really bringing us into right relationship with ourselves. And, and that includes the shadow aspects of ourselves. It includes the parts of us that are ugly, parts of us we don't want to touch, the experiences that we've had that wound us. It's really about delving into those spaces and not bypassing them, not avoiding them, and it, it, there is learning involved. So when Don says, you know, this is for something, sure, like the, the, the eventual space that we usually, you know, tend to arrive at at some point is, um, you know, not necessarily to be able to say, this, oh, I can see why this occurred because it eventually brought me here. We might be able to get to that space. We might even actually become grateful for that initial circumstance mm -hmm. or situation, but we may not, and that's okay because you don't have to. But um, what we're really saying is, if I can get to that space, great. If I don't get to that space, can I, through a process of learning and understanding and being tender and loving and kind to myself, um, becoming more powerful, more loving, and more intelligent in my life, which is becoming more soul-like, um, what I should be able to do, or what I would be able to do, is I'd be able to say, okay, what out of this circumstance, okay, or out of this situation, can I take to become more so like more loving more powerful more more intelligent even though i would i would say maybe i i wish this never happened okay um and i i'd rather have it never happen than have to go through this and still become more powerful more loving or more intelligent in some way it's okay to say i wish still wish this never happened that's quite all right right but there are other approaches to um you know the soul based stuff what's not really soul based but it's more sort of spiritual based or something along those lines where it's like, it's really that uh, process of trying to like rise above 
remind yourself of only the bigger picture. We can't just operate from the intuitive space, which is that, that larger view of things, right? The soul view. We can't just operate from that space because we don't engage with each other um, in the world of form through soul. The soul expresses through us, but it's expressing through the form bodies. It expresses who, through who I am emotionally, who I am mentally, who I am physically. So we're really trying to align those things sort of closer with, with soul. But it's not a bypassing thing. So if your personality is experiencing something traumatic, something crappy, something difficult, we're not to bypass that. We're, we're, to, we're to lean into that, to learn about it. If there's something for us to learn, and there always is, then that may be the only purpose for it, to learn something. And does the learning take the pain away? Sometimes, sometimes not. You know, sometimes there's healing involved, sometimes there isn't. Sometimes it leads to a very obvious purpose, sometimes it doesn't. There's no, um, when we work in soul-based coaching, we're working with no template. So everyone is an individual experience. It's really about consciousness. And that's maybe another discussion for another day. Um, and, and I know it's a big thing to sort of wrap your head around, but um, the folks that I've worked with in soul-based coaching, uh, for the most part, you know, 100% of the students that sort of work through the process because it, I have, we have to arrange it in some particular way. So some folks, you know, go through pro the program, um, you know, basically all of them have had incredibly, like, radical life-changing experiences. But the bit about soul-based work is that you have to continue because it's an integration process. It's not just learning and healing. That that's it's, it's necessary. It's precursor to soul development, right? So you can learn something about yourself or about the world or about your journey. You can learn something about other people, about life. You might do some healing in that way. Um, but it doesn't really change who you are until you integrate that learning into how you show up in this world, how you show up for yourself. And that continued integration has nothing to do with the teacher. Yeah. It's always, a, you know, it's on the person doing the work to continue the integration, to continue the learning and continuing to integrate. And that, you know, that occurs over your entire life and indeed over many lives. Mm -hmm. It's never a place you arrive at and you say, I'm done. It's not like that. Although you might see that in the world, but it's really not something to buy into. Right, and you well, kind of teach us how to um, come full, full circle and learn to, how to integrate, and then we are kind of, are, as baby birds, we fly, and uh, I know now I, I look at things very differently, and I can use yeah. those teachings right. to uh, to approach different situations right. and learn, yeah, yeah. to yeah. Con yeah, con right. continue with my soul development. Exactly. And I remember that um, what I got a lot out of was identifying limiting beliefs <laughs> and um you know because you need the awareness before you can kind of change consciousness exactly. exactly and i remember thinking after doing that course like everyone should be <laughs> everyone should do this like how can you operate in the world without kind of being aware of these things so yeah. no it's anyway. true i mean and unfortunately it's one of those things where um, you know, we've believed or been taught up to a certain point that awareness is the key. And awareness is necessary, but it's not the only factor needed to shift, to grow, to evolve, to expand consciousness. It's, it's necessary, but it's the first piece of it. And so what folks tend to do, which is, and, and it's simply because we just don't know what else to do. Um, you know, when, when we say know thyself, once we know thyself, oh, that feels better. And then we say, you know, a couple months later, you're like, shoot, I'm still in the same patterning, but I thought I identified it. Well, you did identify it, but we didn't do much with that. Right. So, so a huge part of soul-based coaching, the transmutational process, which is working in the um, form bodies or the mental, emotional, physical body, is dealing with wounds, fears, and limiting beliefs, which they sort of all sit on top of each other. And so when we are um, identified with those realities primarily, the things that hurt us, the things we're afraid of, and things that we consciously or subconsciously believe, and that's how we're sort of engaging in our life, through, through our life, um, we tend to be having a pretty rough time, you know. And so part of the process is also shifting out of that identity of just being a singular, you know, personality body and identifying more significantly with soul, understanding which qualities you're suppressing, because we all do that, expressing them more consciously, and that's how we sort of like integrate the personality with the soul together and one becomes more influenced by the other and we show up in the world in a different way they we become different people and so that tends to be a more fulfilling life for one and that's why it was important for me to do it and then important for me to share that with others and teach them to do the same thing and i definitely wanted to make sure that our community was aware of what you do with the soul-based coaching because um, it was life-changing for me especially with soul contracts learning about soul contracts yeah. i know that now when something does doesn't feel right or something feels right I think about okay when I was making my contract what would I what would I what would I have wanted to do here and um, it gives me the strength to actually 
stay in stay authentic and stay in my own alignment yeah. and and do make more difficult decisions mm -hmm. that are for the greater good. Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what other courses do you do you have at your school? Oh my gosh, um, so many. You know, uh, mediumship, intuitive development, psychic development, um, platform and advanced mediumship, intermediate, beginner, all these things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I do um, energy clearing and protection, psychic investigating, soul based coaching level one, level two. Um, oh my gosh, there are so many. Yeah, you <laughs> teach Reiki as well? Uh, yep, yep, yeah. yep. I teach, I do, I certify in Reiki. As now, well. for someone who is interested in this type of work but has never really dipped their toe in this water before and they don't even know where to start, yeah. um, what would you recommend for yeah, someone? So, my recommendation would be um, an at home learning program right now. Um, which is usually, um, my suggestion would be the Psychic Intuitive um, Certification Program. And it's sort of like the level one of stepping into spiritual work. It gives you the groundwork that you need because I think the foundation is really important. And whether you go into anything, um, you know, in particular, like mediumship, like psychic work or dousing or investigating work, like whatever that is, um, it's a great place to start. So that's, yeah, the Psychic um, Intuitive um, Certification at home program so you work with a manual and you have videos from me and then you correspond with me in the office and yeah you get all your work done and a little bit of homework right there there are there's homework there's case studies yeah. there's stuff that you have to do yeah would be, and that's why it's a certification program it's really important for me and, and you guys know you know um you know i want to work with people that are ready to do the work that they choose to do and so um i don't i don't lightly graduate people from programs so they have to demonstrate that they're doing good work um, because I think that there's a lot of poor work that goes on in the realm of psychic mediumship work as well and so it's important that when you do that home program that's right you have homework and then I have to audit that to make sure that your work is good but it's, it's not you know you're not doing it on your own if you're missing something then I'm there to assist you and redirect it and you redo and then we you know because it's all about your learning mm -hmm. this is what it is yeah. yeah well thank you so much I highly recommend checking out Marianne's website and Facebook and we will include links below so thank you so much You're again welcome. for being thank here you. with us and we'll see you all again